It's not in a child's pose to begin with. So coming down onto your mat, and we'll take your knees out, mat distance apart, bring the big toes together, sit the hips and the heels, and just start to take a few little shoulder rolls backwards a few times, just wiggle it out, and then circle out the shoulders. Just loosen everything off. And then start to take an inhale, reach those arms up to the sky, lengthen everything out. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, push the weight back into the heels, extend the arms out nice and long, and bring that forehead to the mat. So ideally, you want to keep the hips and the heels connected, but depending on your body, they may lift slightly. So just working on drawing the hips to the heels. Getting those arms out nice and long and just relax the forehead down onto the floor. So as always, you have the option to just wiggle from side to side if it feels nice or you can hold the pose still. Closing off the eyes as you start to take your awareness to the breath. You're just starting to take a deep breath in through the nose. And then as you exhale, just sigh everything out from the mouth. And just allowing the body to relax into the floor. Closing off the mind and staying present. We'll take one more deep breath in through your nose. And a big exhale, side out through the mouth. And then just slowly start to walk the hands back towards the body. And then we'll wiggle them the opposite way. So coming into a little bit of a back of bend here. Come onto your fingertips, inhale as you open out that chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, just gaze up or drop the head back. Take a breath. And then inhale, come back up to the center. Close off, bring the forearms to connect, palms connect. Draw that chin to the chest, the belly can pull into the spine. Again, we inhale, open into a cactus elbow here. And those fingertips meet the floor again. Same thing, drop your head back. Optional to lift the hips and the heels away from each other, coming into a little bit of a modified camel pose. Just drop the head back, relax, take a few breaths. And then slowly drop the hips to the heels, come back, bring the forearms to connect, palms connect, chin to chest, belly pulls to the spine, little round and into the back. We'll just stay here for a few breaths. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the mouth if you wish. And we'll do one more. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let's cactus those elbows one more time. Push the chest forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. A little drop back. Squeeze up. And exhale, release. Let's find our way into a tabletop position here. Step your knees to your hips. Shoulders to wrist alignment, spread your fingers out nice and wide. We'll move into a couple of cat cows. Inhale, open out the chest, gaze up towards the sky. As you exhale, round it through, chin to chest, belly, hold into that spine and hold it. One more like this. Inhale, start to lift that tailbone to the sky and open. And exhale, chin to chest, belly pulls in. Coming back into a neutral spine, we're going to flip the fingers towards those knees, working into your wrist stretches. So flip your fingers so they're facing towards those knees and the opposite side. So ideally you want to get the hands connected completely to the mat here. We're going to round the back again into your cat cows. So spread your fingers out as a high five and then start to lift that tailbone up again towards the sky, feeling the stretch through those forearms, gaze up through the wrists, look up, hold it, squeeze the belly in, 
and then exhale, draw your chin to the chest as that belly pulls to the spine. We're gonna hold it here, push down into the tops of the feet, feeling the stretch in those wrists. We're gonna stay here for four more breaths. Really keep that chin connected to the chest. Two more. And we'll do one more inhale, lift that tailbone up towards the sky. Exhale, just come to your neutral spine and then just start to give those wrists a little bit of a shake out, just warming up your wrist joints, circle them out. Opposite side. And then we're gonna come into a downward facing dog. So just walk those hands out in front, spread your fingers out, shoulder distance with the hands, lift your tailbone up towards the sky and check your feet or hip distance apart. So for your first downward dog, it's always nice to wiggle it out from side to side, working into those tight areas. Let's take a few moments here just to wiggle it out. And then if anyone has a block handy, it doesn't matter if you don't have one, but if you do have a block, you're gonna take that block and position it in between your thighs. So your feet will be hip distance apart. So if you don't have a block, just imagine the block is in between the legs and you squeeze in the block. So your feet will be hip distance. And then just start to settle into the pose. Lift your tailbone up towards the sky. If your hamstrings are tight, just find a little bend in those knees, stretching out through the spine. Scoop your core in, lengthen everything out, and then press into the hands, you lift the butt towards the sky. Take a breath in, and a big exhale out through the mouth. We'll do one more, inhale through the nose, and then exhale out through the mouth. Inhale through your tippy toes, we roll your way forward into plank, chin connects to the chest still, we round it back through the back and we come into your plank position. Stack your shoulders to the wrist, if you have a block, just see where you are and squeeze the block. If not, again, just imagine that block is in between your legs and you're squeezing it nice and tight with the thighs. Now take a breath as you exhale, Roll your way back and find the downward facing dog. Working with your breath. So inhale, roll up to your tippy toes, draw the chin to the chest, round through the back. As you get there, you stack those shoulders to the wrist. Now we'll find an upward dog here. Drop your hips down, open out through the chest, gazing forward, push into the hands to find lift. Now bend the knees, we'll pull the hips back into downward facing dog. Again, inhale, tippy toes, chin to chest, round the back, finding that plank position as you drop the hips into your upward facing dog, gazing forward. Any issues in your lower back, then you must tuck those toes back to the floor. Take it back, downward facing dog. We'll do one more round. Inhale, lift up nice and high. Draw the chin to the chest, round it through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just drop down onto your knees. If you've got a block, move it out of the way. And we'll come back into your tabletop position. Knees under your hips. Take a breath in. Let's lift the left arm to the sky. Open it out into your shoulder stretch. Exhale, release. Switch to the right. Inhale, open it out. And exhale, release back to the floor. Walk the hands out, down the face and dog, lift up to the sky. Walking the hands towards the back of the mat, just hanging down in, let me show my camera, hang down in your rag doll. If you wish, start to pedal those legs side to side, wiggle out the hips. Relax your head. Draw that chin to the chest, belly pulls into the spine. As you inhale, slowly make your way up 
to standing, mountain pose. Get into the top, roll your shoulders back. Again, just circle everything out, loosen everything off. So coming into a side bend, bring your feet together. Look down at your toes and spread your toes out as wide as you can. Scoop your core in, tailbone down and lifted. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Bring the hands interlock together, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, we take it to the right. Finding your side bend over to the, the right side. Push down into your right foot. If you have your balance here, we can start to lift that left leg and point your toe, and we're gonna hold it here. Oh, my hip flexors are really tight. IT band. Two more breaths. Lift the chest, gaze forward. And then slowly bring the left foot back towards the floor. Keeping that length through the spine, reach up. Exhale, draw the chin to the chest. We round it through. Find a forward fold. Hands meet the floor. Inhale, rise all the way back up to standing. Exhale, hands through your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Interlock those fingers. As we exhale, take it over to the left. Draw your right shoulder back. Gaze up towards the sky or look forward as you start to lift your right leg and point through your right toe. Try not to fall over. Scoop your core in. If you've done a lot of glute work this week, this is going to kill. My glutes are on fire today. Inhale, come back to center. Drop the right foot down. Lengthen everything out. Again, as you exhale, you hinge forward from the hips. Drop the chest towards the thighs, finding a forward bend. Inhale, fingertips, come to your shins, thighs, oh, my balance is terrible. Bring your fingers down, shake out the hips. Halfway, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, walk back out into downward facing dog. Moving through a few rounds of your sun salutation, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, lift up to your tippy toes and start to walk your feet to the top of the mat, trying to keep the legs as straight as you can. As you get to the top, bring those feet together. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, bring your hands into the heart. Inhale, take it back and bend. Exhale, float down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway flat back, gaze forward. As you exhale, step back into a plank. Hold it here. Gaze towards the top of the mat, scoop your belly in. Dropping down onto the knees, we'll take a chaturanga. So your chest goes forward, drop the elbows to 90. Then we inhale, drop your belly to the floor, push into the hands, find a low cobra. Or moving into an up dog, you push into the hands, the thighs move away from the floor, and your chest draws forward. We stay for one more breath. Keep your ideas forward, push into those hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway flat back. Weight forward into your tippy toes. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, rise up to standing. Make sure your knees are bent as you get to the top. Bring your feet back together again. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, take it to the right. Push down into your right foot. As you inhale, that left leg comes out to the side. Point your toe. Try and find a little side bend over as much as you can here. It's really hard to do this while you're talking at the same time. Drop it back to the floor. Take an exhale, you hinge from your hips. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, forward. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky as you get to the top. Interlock your fingers, reach up high. Take it to the left side, then over. Push down into your left foot as you reach the right leg up and out to the side. 
Again, scoop that core in. If this is too much, you can keep the foot on the floor. Release the right foot back down. Woo. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway again. Find that flat back. Looking forward. Wiggle it out a little bit. Tabletop spine. Exhale, we plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, lift up to your tippy toes. Start to walk your feet towards the top of the mat. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. As you get to the top, soften those knees. Inhale, let's rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, back to bend. Exhale, fall all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Knees drop down, chest forward, chaturanga. Drop the hands down. We'll inhale to low cobra. Elbows squeeze to the rib cage. Option one, you stay here. Option two, you come into that upward facing dog. And we stay for a couple of breaths. So normally what I see in class is the shoulders drop up to those ears and we're kind of just dumping into it. So you want to push into the hands to find lift. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adding in a little hip opener in your downward facing dog. So push down into your left foot, take your right ankle on top of your left thigh and flex your toes on that right side. Knee needs to draw out on the right side so you're getting a little hip opener. Push your hips up towards the sky, stretching into the back of that left hamstring as well as your right hip. Take two more breaths. And then slowly release. Right heel to the mat. Left ankle on top of the right thigh. Open it out. Push into the hands to lift your tailbone to that sky. And release back into your dog. Let's take a nice wide dog here. So open your feet as wide as your mat. Push your hips to the sky. Optional to find a little sway movement in your dog. Or just hold it still. Take two more breaths. Coming into a twist here. So right arm is gonna grab hold of your left flat leg. So thigh, shin, foot, ankle, as you gaze underneath that left armpit. Pushing into the left hand as well. Inhale back to center, switch to the right hand side, grab and hold of the right leg wherever you can. Inhale back to center, push those hips back. Keeping your feet as wide as the mat. A little wide ragdoll here, grab those elbows. You can sway from side to side, or again, you can just hold it still, whatever works. Inhale to fingertips, gazing forward, or hands come to your shins, flat back. Exhale, walk it back into your dog. Walk the feet back into hip distance apart. And then as we gaze forward, start to step your left foot in between those hands as we come onto your fingertips to find a runner's lunge. So your left ankle is above that, is, is below the knee. Spread your toes out, gazing forward. And let's just drop that back knee into your little lunge. Walk the hands up your left thigh. Just check your knee is above your ankle on the front leg. Option one, stay as you are here. Option two, if you'd like to add the tiptoes in, come onto your tiptoes, line the knee to the ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, grab your elbows, finding some lift in the spine. 
zip your core in, pull your ribs in, and just look forward and take a few breaths. So you should be feeling this in your right hip flexor. If you're not, take the leg behind the hip, knee behind hip. Keep that eye gaze forward or start to take a little bit of a backward bend, but make sure that knee stays above your ankle on the front leg. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, if you're on that foot there, just drop the heel down. And we take the right hand down, lift the left arm up. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift the back leg as you find a twist. Gaze to your left thumb, push into your right hand, and lift up nice and high onto your right big toe. If you'd like to add a little bind here, this left arm can come behind as you then draw the left shoulder back, finding a little bit of a rotation through those twist obliques. Inhale, left arm back to the sky. Exhale, let's take the left hand in, so your left hand is inside of the left leg. Drop your back knee down in lizard pose, stretching into your hips, hip flexors. Squeeze your knee to your left shoulder and just hold it here, looking forward. Start to lift the back leg off. As you exhale, take that left leg behind. We are in a plank. Drop those knees down, chest forward, elbows in, press into the hands, cobra, as you come into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, cracky toes. Gaze forward, step your right foot in between those hands, runner's lunge. Knee above ankle, get nice and long on that back leg. Drop the back knee down. Low lunge. Walk the hands up the right thigh, check your knees above that ankle, scoop your core in, scoop your belly in, ribs in. Optional again, come onto your tiptoes. As we then inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Grab hold of opposite elbow. And we hold. Any issues in the knee, my knees start to hurt because I'm on concrete. Put something underneath the knee. Take a breath. As you exhale, drop the heel down. Left hand down. Reach your right arm to the sky. Optional, pick the back leg off as you find that twist. Maybe take your bind as the hand comes behind and roll your right shoulder back. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand, bring it in towards the right foot. Drop your back knee down as you find a lizard. Spread out your fingers, draw the knee to your shoulder looking forward again you want to think about scooping your core in here so everything is nice and tight everything should be working in yoga nothing is ever switched off left leg lift skates forward drop the back knee down take the right leg back we find that plank Moving through chaturanga, knees down, chest down. Inhale, cobra lifts. We'll take those hands to your lower ribs. Press up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, stay with it here. Open out those shoulders. Gaze up. Exhale, downward dog. Walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins. Gaze forward into your flat back tabletop. Woo I'm off the camera again. Come forward. Inhale, reach. I'm talking to myself there. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through your heart. Adding in a little pose, it's nearly time, isn't it? Yes, okay. 
Working into a little pose here just to finish. We're coming into flamingo pose. So, spread your toes out on that left leg. Bring your knees together. Grab hold of the back foot. Little hip flexor. Soften the standing leg as you come forward. And try and keep your knees squeezed together here. Fingertips to the floor, hand to the floor, or you can't need to use the block.